Hi, congratulations on your new RV. We're really excited for you. Please make sure before you're signing that you bring the following items with you. If you're a cash buyer, please make sure that you bring a cashier's check, no personal checks at time of signing, or you may bring actual cash. If you're a finance customer, please make sure that you bring proof of insurance listing your specific lien holder. If you need that information, please call us ahead of time. Also, make sure that you bring all valid driver's license of all persons that will be listed on the title. If you have a trade that you're trading in with us, please make sure that you bring your 10-day payoff as well as your title and all persons who will be listed on the title of that trade. Um, arrive 30 minutes early before your appointment time so we can properly inspect your unit and also make sure that you have the fridge on and running prior to arrival. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call at 810-686-0710. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Hello, this is Michael Trabin's RV Center here to congratulate you on the purchase of your J-Flight 32 BHDS travel trailer. I'm here to walk you around it, show you how to use a few things to get the best out of your camping experience. Let's start by talking about arriving at the campsite. A couple things to take into consideration. On your campsite, your awning. You got a tilter right now, I just washed it and letting it dry. And then over on your off campsite, of course your slide. You have plenty of room for that to come in and out unhindered, both slides. Then I want you to think about where your power and water connection is going to be. It's actually going to be right between your slides, your whole docking station. Power, water connection, everything. So park accordingly. It's going to be right above your rear tire on your driver's side of your tow vehicle. Park accordingly so you can utilize the facilities at the campsite once you arrive. Unhook your hitch. First thing you do is level your unit. Hand crank level. Right will bring it up, left will bring it down. Once we got your unit level, we're going to stabilize it. And on four corners of your unit, you have these stabilizing jacks. Three quarter inch hand crank. Sit, put these on and crank these down. And as these come down, I'm going to recommend stabilizing jack pads. Jack pads are going to protect the feet of your stabilizing jacks from dirt and debris and black, hot black top in summer. Keep them from sinking into the ground. Better distribute the weight. Just a really good investment. So take your 10% off coupon. Grab a four pack of those. Put it down and run these down just until it's taut on top of that. So once you have any type of resistance on your hand crank here, go ahead and stop. Because remember, we've already got our unit level. All we want to do is stabilize it. Run all four of those down. You got your unit level and stable. We can hook up our power and water. Come back here to your docking station. Power cord. Big long 30 amp cord. Stores conveniently inside. When you're done, when you need it to get to your campsite, just pull it out, go plug it in. At the end of that 30, if you need to plug in at home, there's a 30 to 110 adapter. Once you get your power hooked up, let's hook up our water. First and foremost, your water pressure regulator. This water pressure regulator is gonna reduce the water pressure to 40 to 50 PSI, protecting the lines in the unit. Use this when putting water into your city tank or your black tank flush. Hook that up, hook up your hose, but don't turn your hose on yet. Right about here is your hot water heater. Let's open that up, and all we're going to do is make sure our drain plugs back in. Get that in there nice and snug, then you can go ahead and turn on your hose. Now we're level and stable, you can go inside and deploy your slides, so you can get access to all of your water points. Open all of them up, once you got a nice steady flow of water flowing through them, that means the air is out of your lines, and then you can turn on your hot water heater from indoors. I'll show you that when we get in there. Now let's say we're gonna go camping and we're not gonna use city water. We're gonna go boondocking. In that case, let's go fill up our potable water. Over here on your campsite, is your fresh water or potable water tank. No need for a water pressure regulator here. Simply fill that up with a hose. Two ways to tell when it's full. One, there's an overflow valve right here. Or on the inside where you check the levels of your battery, your black and gray tanks, there's also a fresh water tank. Once this is full, close that up. And then when you want to utilize that water, that's when you turn on your water pump indoors. Don't turn on your water pump when using city water, that's already pressurized. So we're all hooked up to camp with uh, water and power. Let me go ahead and walk you around the rest of the outside of the unit, starting up here in the front. There is your batteries. Check those posts now and then, make sure those haven't wiggled loose. Your propane is on a regulator. 
There's a cover for your propane tanks. Have a night docking light. Pass through storage. And again, coming down between your slides. Your black tank will dump here. When your slide is closed, you'll be able to access your gray tank. Which you see right there. Back in your docking station, again, your hot water heater. Black tank flush. We'll talk about that when we dump our black tanks. Your power. Outdoor shower. City water connect. This is a flue for your furnace. If you're running your furnace, make sure this isn't blocked and that uh, you steer clear of it. It will get hot. And again, we'll dump our tanks. Little porch light there. There's where you plug in your cable. Much on your back side. Come back around to your campsite. Do have an outdoor kitchen here. I can get this open with one hand. It's gonna take two. One moment. There we go. Open that up. Pull your grill out. Underneath here, you'll connect there down to this quick connect right there. There is a hole for your spare tire manual crank. I'll bring your spare tire down. Also in your kitchen. These one touch lighting, lighting here, 110, sink, and electric fridge. Storage, there's your hose for your quick connect for your griddle. Make sure you lock these when you travel. Your back door that goes into your bathroom. Keeps people from walking all through your trailer. Just use the restroom. Your outdoor speakers, there's a vent for your microwave. There's a vent and access panel for your back of your fridge. Reflector, again, your potable water. Low point drains. You can put a TV outside on the table, plug in the cable right there in 110. Couple more 110s down here, and again, your storage. That about covers everything in the outside. Let's go take a look inside your unit. First thing I like to point out in all units is the fire extinguisher. Make sure that you and everyone that's camping with you knows that the fire extinguisher is located at the entry doorway. Just to the right of that is your 12 volt carbon dioxide propane detector. The reason I mention that's 12 volt, it's always running off your battery. So if you are boondocking, nothing plugged in charging your battery, Disconnect one of your battery posts if you're going to be gone all day to keep this from running your battery down. Control panel inside here. Here's where you got your brand new battery. Check your fresh black and gray tanks. Here's where you turn on your water pump if you're using potable water. Your water heater if hooked up to gas. Water heater if hooked up to electric. There's a difference. All of your lighting and your slide control. 12 volt down here. Coming into your kitchen. A lot of individual lighting. This is your microwave, self-explanatory. Below that, a light and a fan above your cooktop. You will light, light this by turning that to light. Get your spark and there's your flame. Same thing on your oven. Oven does have a pilot. Push and hold and light that below. Below that is your access panel to your breaker box and fuses. Handful of 15s, I see a 40. Highly recommend having a handful of those with you when you go camping. Your Norco fridge. Turn this on to auto. Auto means when you're plugged in, it's running off electricity. As soon as you unplug, it'll go to gas. Uh, if you turn on gas and this light is flashing, that means your gas is low. It's solid, so you're good. One through five, five being the coldest issue settings. Access panel to the back of your shower. Your back slide control. Below that, your thermostat. Let's turn your AC on. You notice when you shut your AC off, it shuts off rather quickly. Turn your heat on. Your 
it might be warmer than 90 in here anyway your your heater will take a few more minutes to shut off than your ac will i'm actually going to turn the ac back on cool it off a little bit while i'm continuing walking through here continue through the unit in your bathroom i just want to mention this is where you have your 110 with gfci reset you also have a hand crank open power exhaust vent up here come back into your bunk room you know those will lay down make into a queen size bed it's full fold up on the hydraulics all your lighting back here Prep for a TV, set a little TV here in the cube, 110 and cable back there. Your ladder, simply lift it out. Hand crank open, vent back here, no exhaust. Come back out of the, your uh, bunk area. This table will lift up off this uh, top. We'll set down on these lips. Put your back cushions on top for us. Another bed area. Lighting for back here. And here. And here. This is your jackknife. Simply lift up on the front. Lay that down. Lift up on the front and pull it back towards you. Over here, entertainment center. Have your stereo here with CD player, DVD player. Put the TV up in here. You can swivel this. This will swing around to the inside. Come back into your bedroom here. A couple of speakers. More individual lighting. One tens. Make sure when you travel, both of your bedroom doors are snapped open on both sides. The all doors and drawers are closed back here. So I'll act like we're leaving the campsite. What I like to do is come to my control panel, shut off all of my lighting, because then I can walk through the unit and see any individual lighting that I need to go through and shut off. All right, bunk area door, make sure this is snapped back as well. Check the lighting in here. It's off. Um, my lighting for up here. Shut all these off. So you got a lot of individual lighting in here, which is really nice. You can just leave one on at night. Got all our lights off. Doors and drawers. Go through the unit, make sure all doors and drawers are closed. Nothing's gonna impede your slides from coming in. We're going to come back to our bunk area and you slide in. And as your slide comes in, again, make sure nothing's in the way of these slides from coming in. Once that's in, Put the AC back off. Come back up here. Slide in here. Again, make sure all doors and drawers are closed. Especially these ones here on the entertainment center. Can you see how close this comes to it? It's so okay to hear that noise, that's the slide mechanism telling itself not to come in any further. Exit the unit. Lock and deadbolt your door. Lift and turn this handle. Fold your steps up. At this point, we're gonna bring up all of our stabilizing jacks. Unhook our power, our water, and our cable. Once then we're done, we're going to hit our low point drains. 
Some camps you can do it at the campsite, depends on how much you got. A lot of them at the dump station. Dump your low point drains. Once you've got them all open, we're gonna come around to our hot water heater. We are then going to lift up on our pressure release valve. That's gonna dump the remaining of the hot water out of our hot water heater. Press that back down or your door won't close and then you can pull your low point drain. Hook up your hitch and head on up to the dump station. Now at the dump station, park accordingly. Your dump is gonna be behind your tires on your driver's side. So toward the rear of the unit. Let's get there, take your 10 foot hose, hook it up. First thing you do is pull this black handle. My black handle is gonna be sewage. Once it sounds like it's no longer draining, leave that black handle open. Again with your water pressure regulator, hook up to sewer tank flush. Leave that black handle open, run your hose for a good five minutes, wash all that nastiness out of your black tank, shut that hose off, come down here, close your black handle, go ahead of your tires, and pull your gray handle. That's gonna be cleaner water, it's your sinks and your showers. Can clean your sewage hose out for you. And you are going to conveniently and sanitarily store it right inside your bumper. Again, I thank you guys so much for your purchase. Hope you enjoy this J-Plate for many years to come. Happy camping.